Hey guys, I'm Dave. And I'm Lund. And welcome to... Actually, this isn't Wargame Chat, this is just a review. Uh, we just reviewed Hotspot here from Metagaming. This is from, I think, 1979. It says the author is uh, Bill Armitrout, and I can't help but wonder if that's the guy who owns the miniatures page, I think it is. Uh, I wonder if it's the same guy, I'm not sure. But uh, it, it's a micro game, and... The scenario is like nothing you've ever played before. What's going on is you got a planet made of lava, and the Ziggler Corporation is there, and they have these custals, which are like platforms that can exist on top of the lava without burning up, and they have their forces on them. And then you have the technocrats attacking, and the uh, technocrats uh, have some attack platforms that they can use uh, to move around on the lava. And when the platforms... Uh, bump into the crustals or whatever you got to roll to see if there's damage so what's happening is in the middle of the map here there's a, a crustal in the middle uh, the technocrats have to take that one and the players can control the movement of all their crustals and stuff uh, it's kind of an interesting tactical situation but the uh, components are just god awful first of all you have to cut them out which is bad enough to make matters worse they're like as thin as a piece of paper i mean if you're going to have people cut out counters, I mean, is it really that expensive just to get actual cardboard counters and have them cut that out instead of cutting out uh, counters from a piece of paper? I mean, it's ridiculous. Uh, so they're hard to pick up and stuff, and it's kind of annoying. But if this game was ever reprinted and they used, like, hexes that were twice the size and uh, uh, larger counters and stuff, it might be a, a whole lot better. And then have a map that doesn't look like this. I mean, th this looks ridiculous. Uh, but <laughs> the only other complaint I have is the combat uh, takes place uh, in the same hex, uh, kind of like Starship Troopers from Avalon Hill. And uh, that gets annoying at times. Starship Troopers from Avalon Hill was good. It's just that the same hex combat was annoying. But uh, if they got rid of that and just had it where you, you combat something adjacent to you, it would like, improve the game considerably. As it is, it's, 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 actually a, it's actually a decent game. It's just the components are god-awful. Uh, <laughs> what do you think of it? Did you like it? I enjoyed it. I thought it was a good, simple game to set up. Um, the problem is with the counters, if they were redoing it again, thicker counters, larger with all the information, because I wasn't sure, like... Uh, some counters had the movement factor, and I could hardly read it. Mm -hmm. And also, with all the charts uh, available without having to look in the uh, rule book. But actually, uh, this would be this ha that hard to improve on. Yeah, I, I mean, just improving the c components and having a map. I mean, if it's a game where you're on a planet like uh, uh, that's all lava, I don't know, maybe have lava on the map. But <laughs> <laughs> Instead of just having a, a big blob of yellow with some uh, hexes on it. <laughs> and maybe are there other scenarios for this? No, it's just one scenario. Uh, yeah, it would be better, too, if there was more scenarios. Yeah, th th this this game is one I would say it's a decent game, but it's a fixer-upper. I mean, whatever house rules you could make for this would probably improve the game by leaps and bounds. Uh, and, and maybe if you're really bored, make your own new map and stuff. But Yeah, because actually in those days, probably the uh, printing costs were high. So anyway, you could reduce the cost, but nowadays with print on demand, that shouldn't be a problem. Mm -hmm. uh, print on demand, uh, Kickstarter programs. Uh, uh. Well, in, in the United States, if you go to printers, you got to go to more than one because uh, the pricing's all over the place in the United States yeah. for printers. So I mean, you got to go to a bunch of them and, and get quotes uh, because they're going to be really different. Uh, I remember years back, I, I needed to get some stickers uh, for some guy. And I went to, I think it was, it might have been Chicagoland uh, decal, and I asked for a price quote, and they quoted me like five dollars for like uh, per sticker for stickers like this big, which, which was ridiculous. So obviously I didn't buy from there. So then I ended up going to uh, Sticker Giant online and ended up getting them for like I don't know, like twelve cents each. So that, that's the uh, difference in pricing. One place charge wanted to charge me five dollars, and the other one right. wanted to charge me like twelve cents. So you, you got to be really careful what printer you use in the United States. But That's true. But actually, it isn't that bad of a game. Like I said, you're going to have problems with stacking, moving the counters. So uh, to get a new edition, consider looking into it. Yeah. But yeah, it's, it's all right for a micro game. Just terrible components, but <laughs> but yeah. it's not bad. Uh, I'd be willing to play it another time, probably. Yes. All right. That's all we got. Have a good one. You too.